What's up guys? I got a package today and I want to share with you guys. So here it is from Alter Eagles. Pretty cool guys older. So um, let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. Um, I'm going to try to use this big knife instead of my regular hobby knife because uh, I like how uh, Motor Racer opens up does his box video so uh, for one time only I'm going to use this uh, this is the biggest thing I could find in my home so <clears throat> try to open the box with this and see what's inside alright let's do it there now I've been watching Clipper Ken's videos and uh, on the Indiana Jones and the Superman and uh, he, you know the Indiana Jones, um, I actually pre-ordered it right after I saw his video because, you know, I wasn't going to get the figure. I, I had already planned what I was going to get, but when I saw his video, I decided to get the figure. And um, so I went to Alter Egos, and luckily, they were already sold out, and luckily when I went there on their site, they posted for like one day um, the Indiana Jones uh, figure. So what you would call that, I pre-ordered it right away, you know, because they're already sold out, so sometimes that happens, like they sell out a figure and then for like a few days later they repost it up again for a short little time, so I said, I said, what the hell man, I'm just going to get that, it looks really nice, so let's see what's inside here. It comes nicely packaged. And uh, here's the box. Also, I pre ordered the uh, Superman figure because, I mean, it just looks great. But I already had pre ordered that a while back. So I'm, looking, I'm really looking forward to the Superman figure. <laughs> it's kind of hard to open this loop. There. So yeah, guys, this um, figure is also an amazing figure it's from Hot Toys. And um, as you can see, it's the um, Iron Man 2. Mark 5. The box is in great condition. No dents. That UPS guy couldn't get to it. So thank God about that because that guy always tries to dent my, my boxes. Uh, so let's open it up and see how he is. Hopefully there's no uh, problems with the figure. Uh, I've been waiting for this figure for a long time. And finally it came. So let's check it out. Okay, so I took off the slipcover, couldn't do it one-handed, so <clears throat> here he is. Let's do the uh, moron packaging. Let's get this guy out, check him out, and see if he has uh, no defects or anything, because I've heard that there's some discoloration on the figure sometimes, and uh, I don't know, some other stuff, so hopefully mine will be okay. So far, looking okay. Okay guys, so I got the top cover off, um, it was really hard to take it off, it was really stuck there, the plastic was really sticking, but this is the uh, Mark V, you can see, it's looking very very beautiful, really, really awesome, there's the uh, battle damage arm, really nice, that's the chest piece right there, and this too. Those cool handcuffs that it comes with. And um, the extra hands. Posable fingers, I think. And one for the uh, battle damage hand. I mean, arm. Sorry. So, so far looking pretty good. I'm really liking the face. Looks really cool. 
Alright, so let's see what's on the other layer. Basic uh, stand and base that uh, comes with the other Iron Man. And you get the suitcase. Suitcase is pretty cool. Really nice detail. Cool. And it comes with the standard base, rank 5, and the light up base, which is pretty cool. So, so far, really, really nice. Um, so, let's check out the figure and see if any. Any surprises, okay? Alright, so let's check out the back. Let's take these little things off. These are kind of like taped in, so let's just check this out here. Nice detail. Sure. Pretty much looks okay to me. Let's see, what do you guys think? See any discoloration on him? I see some on a uh, shoulder pads, but I think that's in intentionally there for like battle damage. Like there's some kind of like black uh, tint sprayed on, like with an airbrush. So I think that's part of the battle damage look. So far, it's looking pretty good. All right. Right there, too. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, so I took off the plastic uh, slips off, and it looks like it does have some shading but I think that's intentional so it looks pretty good anyway see it looks like that airbrush right there and right here and a little bit up here on a, on the bicep area on the um, side of the bicep actually took off the boots slips uh, and it was looking pretty pretty cool I don't know if you can see the red like I see it because uh, the red looks very, uh, very beautiful. It's very glossy and very like rich. It's a very rich red. Let's see the feet. Kind of looks like the uh, Mark 4 feet and Mark 6 feet. But definitely a whole new different sculpt. Pretty cool. Um, it's got these little rivets and there and there. It might have a double joint there in the knee. I'm not sure. We'll check it out. And the back detail is pretty nice. It's got the switch. We'll we'll check the electronics and everything. So stay tuned, guys. The ab area looks really nice. It's chest area. Yep. Okay, so let's check the electronics on this guy. I just pulled off all the little tabs, plastic tabs. Um, let's check out the eyes. There you go, they look nice. Pretty cool. The chest. And the hand right here. That's good. Let's 
see. I didn't change this hand, but it should light up. And there, you can see uh, it lights up. So, there's something weird. Like this little panel right here. I don't know if it comes off or it's supposed to come off. It's pretty much uh, glued to this fist. Um, but the other hands don't have that. And uh, when I took off this fist, uh, the piece is actually stuck to the um, figure so I guess it doesn't have it for th these loose hands so I don't know how that works but it looks like you can put it back in here and I don't know how that works there's nothing in the instructions about that so yeah oh, pretty good uh, articulation there see look at that look at how nice this looks look at it. it just all folds in like a <laughs> like a transformer or something um, okay so that takes care of the electronics uh, everything's working fine it looks like there is no paint uh, defects or or scratches or anything well it's a little little lint here a little s smudge it's okay um, everything seems to be really cool he comes with let me just stand him here He comes with the arm, the arm also lights up, as you can see, really nice detail, lights up, really nice hand, look at that, so really awesome, really awesome, guys. On the Mark VI, I had a lot of trouble putting the arm on the Mark VI, so, so I'm not looking forward to that, because you got to Pull, get, you gotta make a lot of force, and you know when you, you don't want to do that with your hot toys. Make you know push or something really hard or something because you might break it. So I never really look forward to that. Um, this is a chest piece. Really nice battle damage. Very cool. Uh, spare hands with the joints. Standard um, among the Iron Men. A uh, stiff hand, I think. Yeah, and the it's battle damage for this guy right here. So, comes with these really cool handcuffs. They open and close, you can see. So, very cool real chain and one of the coolest things the suitcase yeah, really nice detail I wish it would open but <laughs> uh, yeah I don't think it opens so but very cool it could go with your custom Tony you know, if you make a custom, uh, Tony Stark, you know, so very cool, very, very awesome. What else is there? The standard base, you got to get the battery separately. That's where they go. And the standard um, other base, I mean. Well, this is not the standard base, but you know, you guys know what I mean, right? This is the standard base. And... Uh, that new system they're using for holding a figure right here. I think that's it guys um the figure it is looking fantastic I gotta flex some of the joints on him they're using some kind of rubber thing here on the joint right here it look like it looks like it shifts and moves out of place a little bit when you bend the arm so you gotta be careful with that but overall the figure looks great let me drop something there yeah guys so this is my unboxing of the Iron Man Mark V uh, great figure and um, yeah guys stay tuned for Superman because um, he's coming He's flying in, and um, this is one great Iron Man. I'm really glad I got this guy. And 
and um, hey guys, stay tuned. I didn't forget anything, did I? <laughs> oh yeah, there's this little chest piece that he put for the battle damage. This looks like it's going to be hard to put on. I was looking at the instructions, and it does come with instructions for that. And um, your typical instructions for Iron Man. All right, guys. So it's been fun, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.